Hey guys, so today it is time for my bold lipstick week wrap up. So this past week, I challenged myself to wear a bold lipstick every single day of the week. I picked out seven lipsticks for my collection that were either kind of out of my comfort zone or just something bold and different that I tend to kind of shy away from. And I created a look based around that lipstick each day this week. I'll link my intro to this challenge below. It was like a three and a half minute video where I just kind of talked about my reasoning for the challenge and show the lipsticks that I chose and everything if you want to check that out. And of course I did it this week. I invited you guys to join me in doing it this week as well, but you can totally do this challenge for yourself any week that works for you. So if you do decide to do it any week, let me know. I'd love to see your looks or just hear how it goes for you. But the purpose of today's video is going to be to show you all seven of the looks that I created based around each lipstick Monday through Sunday. I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on each of those looks. I'm filming this intro on day seven, in case you were curious, so this look is the one that you'll see closer to the end of the video. I had a lot of fun this week, kind of changing up the order in which I apply makeup. Every day this week I would apply my lipstick first before I did my eyeshadow, and that way I was coordinating the eye look with the lip color rather than vice versa. Normally I do my eyeshadow first, then pick a lipstick, so it was fun to kind of switch that up. I recommend trying that out if you have any lipsticks in your collection that you're not really sure how to wear or like what kind of eyeshadows to wear them with. Try putting the lipstick on first and then let the eye look sort of follow that. But I think that's all I have to say for this quick intro. Let's go ahead and get into my look from day one. All right, so on day one, I decided to use the Madame Glam Lipstick in Pucker Up, which is this really bright corally pink shade. This is a lip color that I feel like works best as part of a kind of monochromatic look. So I like to pair it with like a peachy pink eye. So that's what I went for today. I'm using my Norvina palette and first applying the shade Love into my crease with just the crease brush that comes with the palette. Then I decided to dip into my ColourPop Miss Bliss palette and just use the shade Intuitive, which is this sort of light peach, to sort of warm up the crease just a little bit, add a little bit of a peachiness to it. Then I'm dipping back into my Norvina palette and applying Wild Child to the lid with my finger. This is just a nice sort of sheer pink shimmer. Then I'm taking a little bit more of that love shade, the matte pink, and patting it onto sort of the outer V of my eye with the flat shader brush that comes with the palette. Then I'm applying Dreamer to my inner corner as a little bit of an inner corner highlight. Then I'm taking a mix of Love and Volatile to my lower lash line just for a little bit of definition there. And finally using Base, that matte cream color, to highlight my brow bone and just clean up around the edges of this eye look. I already had a little bit of the e.l.f. monochromatic multi-stick blush on, but I decided I needed more blush, so I applied some of this Aether blush from their Amber Cheek Palette to my cheeks. Another kind of light peachy coral blush, just to tie together this kind of monochromatic look. I also used some of the highlight from that palette to highlight my cheekbones. I finished off the look with some black liquid liner and mascara, and that is the finished look from day one. All right, so on day two, I chose the Stila Liquid Lipstick in Beso Shimmer. So this is a very metallic red, very retro. I decided to start this out with my Milani Lip Liner in True Red, just to kind of create a clean, crisp line. Then I went in with the Liquid Lipstick. I'm using my Norvina palette again today. This is my one month one palette for August, so you're gonna be seeing a lot of this palette throughout these tutorials, but I did pull in some other palettes as well, so there will be some variety. So I'm starting out the look with a mix of base and incense for kind of like a soft, warm, tan color in my crease. And again, I'm just applying that with the crease brush that comes with the palette. Next, I'm taking Summer, which is this beautiful golden bronze shade, and tapping that onto my lid with my finger. Next, I'm taking Volatile, which is this cool taupe color, and patting that onto my outer V using the shader brush that comes with that dual-ended brush in the palette. Next, I'm taking a smudge brush from BK Beauty, taking that same shade Volatile on my lower lash line, and using my favorite inner corner highlight in this palette once again, Dreamer, 
on the inner corner with just a little brush from EcoTools. And you can see I'm using that scoopity boopity technique from Ali Glines that I tried in a recent video. Been loving that technique. Next, I'm taking my blush, the CoverGirl Cheekers Blush in Natural Twinkle, and running that through my crease as kind of a transition color. And then I'm also applying that blush to my cheeks, and I feel like this really ties the look together. And you can see here, I have just hit pan on this blush. Very exciting moment. Glad I was able to capture that on camera. Once again, finished off the look with some black liquid liner and mascara. And that is today's look. I love it. It's very kind of old Hollywood retro. I feel like this would be a perfect look for the holidays, but honestly, any time of year, I think it's just such a classic look with that red. All right, so we are on day three, and on this day, I decided to dive into my Becca lipstick in Merlot, a very, very vampy shade. I started this one out with my Jordana lip liner in Plush Plum. Again, just because it's such a deep shade, I wanted to create a nice, crisp, clean line. Then going over that with my Becca lipstick. And today I decided to reach for my Aether Beauty Ametrine quad. I love this quad. And I learned that this quad looks beautiful with this lip color. I started out with that matte, dusty rose shade in my crease. And this pulled very berry next to that lipstick, which I loved. And I just blended that into my crease with my e.l.f. Fluffy Eye Blender Brush. Next, I took that warm bronzy brown shade and tapped it onto the outer half of my lid with my finger. Then I took this light shimmery rose gold and tapped that onto my inner half of my lid with my finger. Then going into this deepest plum shade with my BK Beauty 207 brush and defining kind of the outer portion of my upper lash line and just the outer V. Then taking whatever's left of that shade on that brush and smudging it across my lower lash line. Next, just dipping into a couple shades from Norvina Dreamer on the inner corner. I use this shade as an inner corner highlight almost every day this week. <laughs> and base as my brow bone highlight and to clean up the edges of the look. Then I'm taking my CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus liner in Espresso, which is a brown liner, and smudging that across my upper lash line, not in the tight line, but just as close to the lash line as I could get it. Then taking a small angled brush from BK Beauty to wing that out. I love the soft wing that this gives. And that is this look. I definitely think I'm going to be recreating this look in the fall. I just think it's so beautiful and vampy. For day four, I'm using ELF's Moisturizing Lipstick in Flirty and Fabulous, a really fun blue-based kind of Barbie pink shade. I love this formula. It's so comfortable. I'm sad that they seem to be discontinuing this. So I ended up using pretty much exclusively my Norvina palette for this look because it goes really well with this lipstick. I used incense in my crease and also my inner and outer corners because I'm going to be doing a bit of a halo eye today. Next I'm taking a little bit of Love, the matte pink in my crease to make the crease just a little bit rosier. Then I'm laying down some of my NYX glitter primer just in the center of my lids because I really want that shimmer to pop. And then for my shimmer, my halo of this look, I'm using Wild Child, which is that really fun light pink shimmer. And applying that to the center of my lid with this e.l.f. eyeshadow brush, just right over where I applied the NYX glitter primer. And as always, using Dreamer in my inner corner. And base on my brow bone and to clean up the edges of the look. Using that CoverGirl Espresso liner, the same, basically the same way that I did the day before on my upper lash line and winging it out with that BK Beauty angled brush. Taking a bit of Volatile and smudging that along my lower lash line. Finishing off the look with some mascara, and that is the look. I love this pink shade, so fun. I really need to reach for this more often. All right, it is Friday, day five, and I am celebrating with a purple lipstick. This is Violet's Kiss by Wet n Wild. Decided to reach into some of my singles that I chose as bonus shades along with my one month one palette this month. So I'm using Howland from ColourPop, which is a matte purple in my crease. Then I dove into my BH Cosmetics Lost in Los Angeles palette, which I just recently purchased. I couldn't wait any longer to dive into this palette. Um, I'm using some of Abbott Kinney, which is this sort of medium purple shade and defining my crease a little bit more with that using my e.l.f. crease brush. Next, I'm using the shade The Hills, which is this kind of duochrome 
curly purpley taupe shade very dimensional shade and tapping that all over my lid with my finger it's got a little bit of like a blue sheen to it as well really fun adding a little bit more of abbott kinney to my outer corner that same elf crease brush then i'm taking ColourPop prowlin which is like a shimmery lavender shade and tapping that to my inner corner with my finger taking some of base from abh norvina and applying that to my brow bone then using Dreamer from Norvina and tapping that onto my inner corner as well, kind of laying that over Prowlin from ColourPop since I wanted my inner corner to be just a little bit brighter. Next, I'm grabbing some of ColourPop Earthshine, which is a duochrome purpley blue, and tapping that kind of onto the center of my lid with my finger, just for a little extra something. Topped that off with some mascara, no liner on this day, just wanted to keep it light and fresh. And that is my purple look. For day six on Saturday, I decided to use my Urban Decay Vice Lipstick in Olvera. This is from their new line of Vice Lipsticks in the cream finish. This is a very interesting red. It's a little bit vampy, kind of a warm orange red. For this look, I'm using my ABH Marvina palette and I'm going a very warm route today for my eye. So I'm first dipping into Incense, which is this mustardy brown shade. I'm applying that to my crease with the brush that comes with the palette again. Then I'm taking some of Passion, which is this rich matte burgundy and smudging that into kind of my outer V and sculpting out my outer V using that BK Beauty 207 brush. I am loving this brush, it's so useful. Then just blending over that with that crease brush again with no additional product on it. Then I'm gonna lay down some of my NYX glitter primer again because we're going very foiled on the lids today. Then I'm taking Dazzling, which is one of my favorite shades in this palette, a very foiled metallic taupe and applying that to the center of my lid with my finger, overlapping it a little bit with passion. Next, going into summer, that warm bronzy gold again, and applying that with my finger to my inner third of my lid, overlapping that a little bit with dazzling as well. Taking dreamer and applying that to my inner corner as always. Then taking a mix of incense and eccentric on my lower lash line. And as always, once again, using base to highlight my brow bone and clean up the edges of the look. Using my CoverGirl eyeliner again in Espresso and smudging that along the upper lash line, same as I've been doing a lot lately. Winging that out with that angled BK Beauty brush once again. For blush, I'm using the e.l.f. Bite Size Duo in Lychee, just the matte shade. I really like the kind of spicy, warm blush with this look. And then I'm using Champagne Pop from Becca as my highlight. I didn't show my blush and highlight steps for every single look this week, but I figured I would include it for this one. Finished off with some mascara again, and that was my day six look. Love this one. I think this is another really, really beautiful look for fall. Really got me in the mood for fall time. For the last day, day seven, I'm using my last remaining lipstick, which is the shade called New York at 1 p.m. by Madame Gabriella Beauty, and it's this fun raspberry red shade. I decided to go very pink with this look, and I figured my BH Cosmetics Mimosa palette would be perfect. This is actually my first time using this palette since I purchased it recently. I'm starting out the look with the shade Bottomless, which is this matte pink color. Then deepening up the outer corner and crease with the shade Raspberry. And for both of those shades, I'm using this crease brush from Profusion from an old set that I don't think they sell anymore. Next, I'm picking up some of the shade Pop, which is this duochrome pinky gold, and applying that to the center of my lid with my finger. Such a pretty color. I'm so impressed by the shimmers in this palette. Then I'm picking up Champagne, which is this shimmery, champagne -y peach color, and tapping that onto the inner third of my lid. Beautiful shade. Next, I'm picking a mix of Chilled and OJ, the matte white and orange, and dusting that into my crease kind of as a transition shade, just to add a little bit of a peachy warmth to this look with that same crease brush as before. And then grabbing some of base from my Norvina palette for my brow bone. This time I'm using a different shade for my inner corner. I'm using Sunny from Mimosa as just a pop of yellow in my inner corner, a really fun shade. And then taking some of Love from Norvina and dusting that along my lower lash line. It was my goal this month to use Norvina every day of the month and to at least use two shades each day. So that's why you see me using it every day, even if it's just for like a couple of basic shades. 
And that is the finished look for day seven. Such a fun summery look. I really got into some fall looks this week, but this was a very bright, fun summer look. Loved it. So I hope you enjoyed seeing the seven looks. This was such a fun challenge. I think it was even more fun knowing that a lot of you guys were participating in the challenge as well. It just kind of created a sense of community and made it, it just made it a lot more exciting. I had so much fun seeing a lot of your looks on Instagram this week. So thank you to everyone who was tagging me on there. So much fun. And if you decide to do a challenge like this any week, I'd love to hear how it goes for you. I think that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you've not already. And hopefully I'll talk to you very soon in my next video. Bye.